Hello everyone, it is Sunday, September 9th, in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. New day of the week, new week, there we go. And let's give our shout out to the day right off the, um, shout out, shoot, how about my unofficial sponsors? My good friends. Up in northern Texas, otherwise known as Oklahoma. Mustang Brewing Company out of Mustang, out of uh, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm t getting tired. I need to go to bed. Um, phenomenal beer. They watch the show. They've endorsed it. I endorse their beer each and every day. That's what I do. Also, my good friends Johnny and his better half, Emma Montgomery, and their website, theravel.com. That's T-H-E-R-A-V-E-L.com. A great place to check out a lot of unique stories. Um, and of course, my uh, unofficial sponsors of the show, more of them. My good friend Tom Walk, that's Walk, not Waka, or Waki. General Manager of Stevens Rubber Stamps and Sign Company out of Yeha, Texas, where men are men and the bulls run scared. There you go, there's your address, there's your uh, stuff to get. Do it up. My good friend Crystal Lloyd Dozani, KJ Lloyd Ogana Gold Coffee. Great way to start the day or night or whatever have you. There you, there's your website address. Published poet. I work through in Jolly Old England. She's um, from Wyoming. And she's a aspiring actress. And 50 style pinup model. She's doing a damn good job too. Oh, and she's been in a comic book as well. And of course my man Wally Fortier. Wally's aluminum shaping process. Not Wally's ass sculpting process. So he probably wouldn't mind that either. If she's hot and if he was single, of course. All kinds of aluminum art by this young man. Awesome stuff, and he lives right across the street from me in Yeehaw, Texas. And, uh, folks, Facebook.com slash Waspa. That's W A S P A A. Beer is good for you, and here's our beer of the day honey brown, golden honey brown lager, extra rich out of, out of Dundee Brewing Company, Rochester, New York. Great stuff right here. And, of course, the 45-degree lighter trick. Not much of a pop today, but to my man Justin Dimmitt. Oh, i got to give Justin a huge, huge, huge shout-out in just a moment. But right now, I'm so pissed I need some beer ski. Cheers and beers to all of you. Prost is the same German. And, uh, Kampai is the same Japan. Yes, it is. Folks, before I even get to the birthday shout-outs, I got to give a huge shout-out to my man, Justin Dimmitt. He watches the show each and every day. He promotes the show each and every day. I worked with him in jolly old England. He's living in Germany. And uh, the man went to the Hard Rock Cafe in Cologne. And he bought me this here, Fedora. Yeah, baby. Sure did. Mailed it three days ago. And it already got here. It got here September 8th, actually. Mailed it September 5th. Absolutely smurfalutely incredible. Justin, dude, thank you so much. The hat fits the noggin perfectly. And I'm sporting it, baby. Just for you. Thank you so much, man. Means a lot. I've been wanting a fedora since I was a fetus. All right, with that said, let's get to the birthday shout-outs. My man, Joshua Bell, fuel-sniffing brother, fuel-sniffing friend of mine from jolly old England. How you doing, brother? Hope you're doing well. Haven't heard from you in a long time. Miss working with you. Good times, no doubt about it. Hope you enjoy the show. Cheers and beers, my friend. Party hard and enjoy. Party like it's 1969 minus the acid. Next on the list, my very own cousin, Peter Whitmore. Known this young man forever. <laughs> like our whole life. His whole life, I should say. Peter, hope you're doing well, my friend. Um, miss you big time. Haven't seen you since the Truman administration. Sure feels that way. But, uh, man, a great young man. Always has been, always will be. The Whitmores, phenomenal, phenomenal cousins, undoubtedly. All on my mother's side. 
But Peter, happy birthday, my man, and I uh, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Next on the list. Now, Peter, you're going to like this because my good friend Kevin Kalinsky was born the exact same month, day, and year as you. Kevin, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. Miss working with you in jolly old Japan. Crudo! And he's from down here in Yeha, Texas, otherwise known as Western Louisiana. Now, Kevin was a distinct, a distinguished guest of mine in Ferris at our wedding, September 28, 2002. Now, see, Kevin was the one person that was able to make it there. Out of all my friends, he was able to make it. Because he was living in California, and he made the drive. And, uh, dude, I'll never forget it. I made a promise. I said I would do it, and you said you'd do it, and we did it. We love Rodney Carrington, and I wanted to sing Titties and Beer at my wedding. And you sang it with me. 11.55 at night, luckily everybody was already drunk. Luckily most people there spoke Spanish. So, <laughs> man, that shit was crazy. Titties and Beer. Great song they ushered the in-laws in with, as Rodney Carrington said. And you know what? It sure was. It worked. My in-laws love me. I've got some incredible, incredible in-laws. My wife's family's absolutely wicked awesome. And uh, the marriage has been to almost 10 years now. Wow. So, Kevin, a huge cheers and beers to you, my man. Miss you big time. And if you're living here in Yeehaw, Texas, you can come on down over here and we'll party big time. Miss you big time, brother. Next on the list, a great young man. Happy birthday, Ryan O'Hara. Haven't met you in person. Met you online. You've got a great video that you do. He's got he's he's got a really good YouTube show, and uh, I need to get back and check it out some more. Um, his shows are a lot shorter than mine, and that's probably a good thing. I just throw all kinds of stuff out there. In fact, folks, this will be a great show to play during halftime for football later today. Patriots first football game. I've been waiting forever as you all know. I've been counting it down and now we're down to hours Yup, squeeze, ah, squeeze me down to about Seven hours by the time you watch the show <laughs> might be after football's over But Ryan happy birthday my friend awesome guy Always a pleasure chatting with you and hope you celebrate. Well, my man have a wicked awesome day Next on the list, my man David Johansson, Mafia Wars buddy of mine. I haven't met him in person, but he's a good man and always a pleasure. Thank you for the help on the old Mafia Wars, and I, I hope the feeling's mutual. I hope you have an awesome birthday. Hope you enjoy the show, and a big, big bow of approval to you. Next on the list, here's an AI crudo. BMF that I worked with in jolly old England, my man Jim Christensen, an awesome guy. Always a pleasure to chat with you. Always a pleasure working with you. And hope you're doing well. Haven't heard from you in a long time, but dude, drop me a line. Let me know how life's doing. Living in Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. Ohio, the height of it all. No, that's the slogan for Alabama. Ugh. I apologize. Ohio, a great state indeed. What is, what is the slogan of Ohio? I don't remember. Somebody want to help me out with that? Hmm, okay. And a happy birthday to my good friend, Tina Reeves. Knew her in jolly old England. She lived in our Shepherd's Grove village. A great place indeed. I miss it. I know you miss it. Good times. Hanging out in the community center. Living it up. Partying it up. And uh, I hope you've had a. I hope you are having a phenomenal, phenomenal day. Party hard and enjoy. Next on the list. Oh, that's it for the birthdays. Let's get to some a uh, happy wedding. Actually, it was from September second, but it was made Facebook official late on the eighth, and I just saw it, and I knew this wonderful young lady in high school. My good friend, Naima Wingood, 
congratulations on the wedding. A big cheers and beers to you. I hope it's been phenomenal, and I hope your marriage lasts for at least the next 70 years. Hope you're doing well, and hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list, my man Scott McVicker. Now here's a gat god that I worked with in good old California, the land of fruits and nuts. A great place indeed, if it wasn't for the political system. But anyway, Scott, dude, <laughs> it's been great playing the song pop with you. Great keeping in touch with you. And hope you're doing well. Looks like you are. I know I'm doing well. Even though I'm living here in Yeehaw, Texas. All right. Actually, it's a lot better than I expected. It really is. But, dude, hope life's treating you good. Quick question. Remember the Honorable Christine Taylor from many, many, many years ago? Of course you do. You heard from her at all? Whatever happened to her? Because I haven't heard from her since about 1997, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere around that time frame. Maybe it was 98. Been a long time. But, uh, anyway, hope you enjoy this show. Next on the list, our final shout out for the day, my good friend Leslie Washburn, a total sweetheart, awesome lady, originally from Missouri. I've known you since late 92, early 93, actually. And Leslie, a big cheers and beers to you. I'm just giving you a shout out because you're just that awesome. And it was so great when we reconnected. We hadn't heard from each other in years. But uh, looking great. Your daughter, I remember when she was born and now she's an adult. God, I feel old. Wow. All right. With that said, how about some quick celebrity birthdays? On this day in 1966, Happy Gilmore himself, Adam Sandler, was born. How about that? He's 46 years old. Wow. On this day in 1890, Harlan Sanders was born better known as Colonel Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken. On this day, 1941, Otis Redding was born. Great um, rhythm and blues soul singer. Most famous for Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, a magnificent song indeed. On this day, 1960, British boring actor Hugh Grant was born. On this day, 1971, Henry Thomas, best known as Elliot from E.T. was born. On this day, 1980, the sexy, beautiful Michelle Williams was born in Kalispell, Montana. Gorgeous actress. On his day, 1925, Cliff Robertson, a great actor indeed. He was born. On his day, 1949, former Washington Redskins quarterback Joe Theismann was born. And he became a reporter. And not the most well-liked either. I like the guy, though. On his day, 1967, a couple of famous sports athletes were born. B.J. Armstrong, guard for the predominantly the uh, Chicago Bulls. And then we all know the Neon Deion Sanders. Yup, that guy. He was born on this day in 1967. On this day in 1964, Brett Hall was born. Hockey legend. On this day in 1951, a couple badasses were born. And that would be Michael Keaton and uh, Steven Seagal. Damn right. 61 years old. Hard to believe. Wow. And there's your birthdays for the day. And how about the random facts of the day? Let's do it to it. Honest, that was a lot of birthdays. Honest day in uh, 1982. I didn't even know about this one. Conestoga won the first private commercial rocket makes a suborbital flight. It's first suborbital flight. Whatever happened to it? Hmm. On this day, 1967, Uganda became independent from England. On this day, 1960, 52 years ago today, the Boston Patriots had their first NFL game. We all know they became the New England Patriots after the 1970 season. So ironically, 52 years later, we're playing our first game of the season against the Tennessee Titans, where my friend... Tim McManus, diehard uh, Titans fan. Oh, I got to give him some shit right now. Mm -hmm. Tim, they're going down, brother. We're playing in Tennessee, but it doesn't matter. We won't beat their ass anyway. But yeah, so the Boston Patriots played their first game, and they lost 
My man Wally Fortier is going to love this. They lost to the Denver Broncos 13-10. to See, he's a wicked hardcore Broncos fan. And that was the Broncos' first game played, too. We may have lost then. We may have lost that battle. But boy, have we won the war. Ha <laughs> ha! On this day in 1950, the first use of a television laugh track happened. Wow. People hate him to this day. On this day, 1926, this is a big milestone. NBA, NBC, the National Broadcasting Company, was created by the Radio Corporation of America, better known as RCA. How about that? On this day, 100 years ago today, here's a milestone. 1912, J. Uh, Verdeens was the very first person ever to fly over 100 miles per hour. He flew 107 in an airplane. Awesome. On this day in 1867, Luxembourg gained independence. Congratulations. Wicked awesome. And finally, on this day in 1850, happy birthday, 31st state admitted, California, it is your 200 no, I lied. 162nd birthday today. Congratulations, California. Cheers and beers to you. With that said, for my man Justin Dimmitt, he had a recommendation for the babe of the day. None other than the sexy, gorgeous Gabrielle Union. Ask and you shall receive. She was born on October 29th, 1972. And folks, hard to believe she's about 40. There you go, Justin Dimmitt. Ask and you shall receive for she is smoking hot. Real hot. And I do mean gorgeous. Wow. Mm. Yeah, baby. Look at that smile. Wow. I love this. I love that picture. She's just stunning right there. Yowza. Mm -mm. Mm, I would have loved to have shown that one if I could. <laughs> we could show that one though. Mm, yummy. Yep, Gabrielle Union. Very, very gorgeous. And damn near naked. Eh, one more for good measure. There you go, Justin. Did you get your fill of uh, Gabrielle Union? <laughs> Love that smile. That is awesome. Wicked awesome. All righty. So, with that said, how about we get to the movie of the day? Next Friday, Ice Cube! Mike Epps, John Witherspoon, Tamala Jones... Tiny, Zist, Tiny Lister Jr.'s Tommy Tiny Lister Jr. as Devo. And this movie was a pretty damn good remake. I mean, a pretty damn good sequel to, of course, The Legendary Friday. This movie from 1998, if I'm not mistaken. No, 2000, I lied. Wow. <coughs> Squeeze me. So there you go. Next Friday, movie of the day. How about we get to the song of the day? And we are taking it back to 1952 for this one. This song, because Sunday, we all know, is Gospel Day. And what better than a good 50 style, a 50 style gospel song. This one's called Do Lord Remember Me by the Bells of Joy. Late 1952, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. could be early 53. But I think this one was 52, if I'm not mistaken. AC Littlefield on the lead, lead vocal. I was hoping that I could make this show 20 minutes. And 
that'd be perfect for halftime during the football game. Because halftime takes 20 minutes. Oh. Hard. I gotta do better on the uh, Sunday preview, football preview shows now on. I was starting to do that last year for the playoffs. That was part of the origins of the uh, beer and song of the day, aka the Reverend Dr. B show. This one's gonna be just a couple minutes over 20. Not too bad. Should I say we had a lot of birthdays and I had a lot of um, thoughts that I had to take a moment to think of. So folks, if you have a special request for a babe of the day, hit me up on the old comment section below. Ask and you shall receive babe of the day. Facebook.com slash Red YouTube.com slash Red That's R-E-D-B-O-S-O-X. Hit it up. You want the babe you want a, to request the babe of the day. You ask and I will let you receive. Sorry ladies. It's my show I can't do dude of the day. Just can't do it. Can't bring myself to do it. But I do find more women that I think other women are attractive than dudes think other dudes are attractive. Hey. You know? It's, it's not gay to say, hey, be all right looking. And even if he is gay, so be it. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Whether you're gay or straight doesn't make a difference. All that matters is that you're cool. If you're a schmuck, you suck. Period. Dot. End of story. Mm. Ooh. I gotta finish it. It's become a tradition on the Reverend Dr. B show to finish the beer on the show. Ah, and that we have. Folks, I'm tired. I'm about to crawl in bed with a goddess. It's time to make like a fetus and head out so everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I... When do don't drink and drive, you might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady, Manning, or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. Eli and Peyton, three Super Bowl rings combined. Tom Brady, three Super Bowl rings himself. Take that. Brady's as good as both of them put together. There you have it. I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Go Patriots! Bye-bye!